when uh, you guys release i really want to talk about this one the video that you guys release alisa so okay. because even my friends here in the philippines message me guys uh, bro who is this band that song is so amazing so can you tell me about that uh, that song alisa and uh, you know about the idea to do that uh, video <laughs> yeah uh Actually, Masang, uh, I think uh, almost 20 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, I I adopted Masang a three-legged dog called Cornflex, Harry. Right. And uh, because Ten Tenny and I we lived together, and uh, um, we had a doggy called Poochie first that we saved. From the street, and then we had a dog called Cornflex, and uh, she got knocked up, Masang, and she littered. Hari, aage litter ke okkamala meru na. There was, there was every all all the pups passed away. There was one pup left, and that pup was born uh, blind, with no life in the rear legs. Right. And uh, the wet at the time said uh, no hope. Uh, just give the fellow about a week that it won't survive. That pup machang uh, fought and fought and fought. Like it was the size of a bean machang. Like batu attack again, it was growling. Hari. Mm. And uh, that pup machang somehow ended up crawling. And then from crawling, it ended up hopping like a rabbit. It strengthened its legs and it fought and fought and it regained half of its uh, eyesight machang and that dog ended up growing up and becoming a beautiful fiercely loyal dog that any and i both loved her name was alisa nakamichi okay so uh, she passed away tragically machang a couple of years ago sadly with uh, a neutering operation that went wrong the vet screwed up machang All right. and uh, it's a small operation. It, it should not have happened. But uh, she passed away and it hit me in a big way. It hit Tenny in a big way because she was such a big part of our lives. And uh, we had just come through a time, Masang, where it was a big lineup change, the biggest in our career, Masang, where at the time Andrew uh, left and the drum and bassist at the time. Um, Taraka and uh, Lakma left and uh, there was a lot of personal issues going on in both our lives, Tenny and my life. And the new music we were composing, Janna, we decided that we would hold a, a microscope or a lens masang to writing about more personal stuff. In Stigmata, we have always sung about things that have meaning and things that matter. Uh, sometimes machan things that are personal to us sometimes things that are social machan socio political or socio cultural uh, things we've we've done we've sung about everything machan from war and politics to uh, psychological paralysis to people being in comas uh, to loss and spiritual degradation and you name it but we wanted to focus machan and write about uh, personal things and actually it wasn't my idea. Tenny composed uh, the music, most of the basic framework and the music and said this is a song I wrote for Michi. We didn't call her Alyssa, that was her first name, we called her Michi Mata. And um, it really moved me and it touched me and it was, I think it was the hardest thing I ever had to do Mata musically to and I've been around for a while, Mata. I've been involved in theater and like with Stigmata. When doing four albums in Stigmata, Mata was like living four lifetimes, Mata. If you know what it's like to go through those cycles of composing that music and recording it and playing it live and different lineups and stuff like that, right? Right. But Alisa to put the lyrics and to put the vocal melodies and then when Tenny and I presented the song Machang to these guys, uh, they made the song complete, they put in their input, they brought in Machang, their expertise to it. And 
we composed a song about loss, Macham, because we didn't look at Channa. Some of us don't look at animals as just animals or pets. We look at them as part and parcel of our lives. So it's like losing a best friend or a brother or a sister or a child. And uh, we always write our music in multiple points of view and perspectives. So we wanted to write a song, a really touching song about loss. And how it's a song about uh, losing someone or something that you love and how you want to try and preserve the legacies and the memories. And how would you do that? Not a traditional run-off-the-mill love song, Mazang of Boo Hoo Hoo, My Heart is Broken. But we wanted to really capture the essence of what that pain and what that loss feels like. And how, how you can't ever feel feel much that 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 emotional loss and that gap with anything in your life and we composed it yes for lisa nakamichi but then we felt that we will because we've all had pets and i i have and i've had so many dogs and cats much and that i've lost we felt that we would dedicate this as a tribute to all lost pets much that's when we came up with the idea uh, that let's do a music video, but let's do something really cool where we don't feature anyone in the band in it. Because then the sincerity and the authenticity of it is lost. Instead, we will ask people around the world, not just fans, not just metal fans and stigmata fans, but anyone around the world who has lost Mustang a pet, be it a bird, a hamster, a mouse, a snake, a cat or a dog or a rooster or anything to send in Masang their pictures or their videos that we will immortalize the uh, legacies and the memories of these lost pets. And one thing led to another and that's that's where it came to be. So uh, it was Tenny's idea, Masang, who we planted the seed of wanting to write a song in her name. Uh, I, I gave whatever input I could. I think it was really Hafsal Tisara and Tenny who really put the music together I put the vocal melodies and the lyrics really. And then a the lot of us came up with the idea, Machang, to uh, uh, do this music video and to ask people to send clips. And we didn't know how the reactions would be, but it was unbelievable, Machang. I think there are over 200, 300 pets in that video. And it's so, uh, like, anyone who truly has ever had a pet, bro, I have only heard from them that they can't watch that video. That it brings them to tears and it breaks them down. It doesn't matter who they are, where they're from. And it's it's the same for me. It's our music video. I have not been able to watch it more than three times, Macha. I can't. Mm -hmm. I I end up a mess. I end up like Rose from the Titanic, Macha. <laughs> it's 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 not uh, it's not a joke. So so it's a very personal song, but I think it's very powerful because I think it's a personal song, not just for us, but it resonates Masang, with people around the world. And, and it's a beautiful thing because I don't think too many bands and artists have ever thought of writing about something like this. You, you know, there are rumors like, you know, Fluff from uh, Black Sabbath, uh, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. That's my favorite Sabbath record. I think that was 1975 or 76. There are theories that that song is based, that instrumental Tony Iommi wrote, for a DJ whose nickname was Fluff, but then there are rumors also that Sabbath never admitted that it was about a pet that they lost. And I know, Masan, that people like Ronnie James Dio was a person who never shouted about it, but he's a person, Masan, who adopted strays. He's a person, Masan. There are pictures, I'm sure you've seen, where he visits the pound and he's inside, he's inside the kennel, Masan, with dogs and cats. And, and, and like him, there are so many people in the metal community. I mean, you would have seen that shoot, Machang, where Testament Slayer and uh, the Anthrax guys did, where they are to adopt puppies. Mm. Shakshal Diner loved one of his favorite t-shirts in, in the world to wear was uh, this plain t-shirt with cats on it, Machang. <laughs> and in interviews, they kept, I, I've seen these interviews where they're like, you, aren't you afraid that it'll, it'll ruin your image? And he says, why? We are not sadistic and we have nothing against animals. Focus on the music. Focus on the music, not rumors. And you know that's something Shaldina always used to say. 
let it be about the music and not the rumors and what he meant by that is all these associations yes there are images that we maintain much and to be controversial some do it to show that they're darker maybe they have anti establishment or a satanic image or they have um uh, a different different controversial outlook much and to their imagery and the music that is the music we do much and but it doesn't mean that we are not human at the end of the day and that we are necessarily cruel and we are not in touch with i mean we are look at gojira macha gojira yeah. is one of the flag bearers in the world macha about the carbon footprint no and yeah. about uh, shouting and screaming about uh, uh, environmental change macha and how uh, you know uh, climate change how it's an actual thing yeah. alisa of uh, archenami macha she she's not only she a uh, foremost spokesperson and a vegan for that community none of us are vegans in the band by the way but uh, alisa is also someone who again much on talks a lot about uh, how farming and how like uh, savage butchery and how all of that the slaughter much on of like animals and how the dairy farms and how that impacts the carbon footprint how those things work so what i'm trying to say is much and there are a lot of people just because we are yakada yakas <laughs> does not mean much and that uh, we we don't have a element of sensitivity and emotion it's not you don't have to be cheesy much and in order to talk about something that matters everything you sing about in a metal band doesn't have to be darkness and death and necrophilia much and and you know having sex with your ex girlfriend's corpse by the way uh big typo negative fans and we love that <laughs> album bloody kids yeah uh, so suresh yeah, man. my friend uh, who's watching the facebook uh, feed kalito bonaventura from from manila he's saying i love you alisa video i love dogs and music and it made me cry thanks for making that happen and uh, he also has a message for you guys hope you guys can play in manila sometime when things get better Oh, oh man. That's awesome. Thank thank you so much. Thank thank you yeah. so much. It's it's a dream of ours also to play in the Philippines. Uh one day we've always wanted to and when this whole covid thing is over, we are pretty sure now that uh Channa is going to be our official agent and get our asses over there. Isn't that true Channa? <laughs> <laughs> 